हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज ऑफ टॉप कमांडर हीरो रिकमेंडेशंस एंड एज आई सेड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच्ड इट गो अहेड एंड वॉच पार्ट वन दिस इज पार्ट टू एंड आई एम गोना गिव माय डिस्क्लेमर्स दैट आई डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस इज गोना बी अ सेट ऑफ फोर वीडियोज this will be a controversial uh, series of videos so keep in mind that these are my opinions from my experience so far and if any of these does not apply to your gaming style please follow what suits your gaming style you don't have to necessarily do or the proceed the way i recommend totally it's up to you and uh, thirdly i'll add this disclaimer in all the videos uh i'm making this videos because i got questions regarding which hero to pick in top commander since we have choices now and based on everybody's gaming style the recommendations will, will be different uh with that let's move on to the next set of uh, uh you can say type of heroes uh which will be riders this time and for riders so far we don't have any new hero that you know in pipeline to be added so we can see that there are going to be two cycles with two heroes and uh, if you like you can pick one hero in each cycle and uh, acquire both of them if you see value in both of them that is because i say this because uh, in top commander even with say uh ranking rewards overall ranking you get 200 of the top commander fragments uh the hero fragment for that top commander and you need around if i'm not wrong 7 675 something like that uh to actually awaken a hero so even if you play and come rank 1 on both top commanders you still will need over 250 fragments at least to awaken a hero um anyway i did not say that in my previous video so let's move on to riders in riders we have the top commander heroes one would be swen and uh, another one is jonathan as you can see i don't have this particular hero and you will kind of know why by the time we are done in this particular one one thing though i'm not going to break down both uh, heroes in this video so it's going to be you can say recommendation based on what role they can play in your squad or in your team in your lines and what is the usability of the hero so let's start with swen swen basically is a siege hero and he can be used on field and since he does not have a skill tree which does provide good rate generation he is going to be used as a support in both situations uh mostly i've seen him in support not a uh, very few times in lead now the reason uh, one thing though he does have very good damage factor and uh, he does provide extra damage to garrison during siege of which makes him a siege hero also he does have a you can you can say reduction in damage taken up to if i'm not wrong 27% yeah for this 15 and then during siege another 12 so plus he provides some attack and defense so he i've seen him being used in uh you can say siege rallies with bella as lead extremely well so he can be used on both siege and field as a support now let's come to him i have not seen him on field and never fought him i don't know who has this particular hero who actually use him on the field and never fought this guy so i would say if somebody has a report of using him on field please share i would like to see how it goes but so far what i know from all his skills he is primarily a counter rally hero 
that you can potentially use on field in both cases he is going to be in support but as a rider hero i have better options than him because riders basic you can say thing is you hit hard you run he can potentially hit hard when it comes to his uh, awakened skill he can hit hard he does have uh you can say hp reduction on enemy but he does not have if i'm not wrong any kind of increment in speed he doesn't provide speed buff and he is a rider hero which is you can see where i'm going like why i have not seen him used on the field for good reason again not going to go in detailed analysis of him the recommendation is go for swen if you're playing top commander of rider i would say every cycle just go for swen collect all the fragments you can awaken him eventually he's just waste of fragments in that regard even though i have uh, swen awakened i'm most likely i'm going to sit out any rider tc unless a new hero comes out i'm not going to be wasting any of my speed ups or anything for jonathan so uh, that's a tc recommendation now next is uh, roulette for roulette we have good options they could have been tc heroes but i would like to you know compete for them bella and elena both are amazing heroes if you can if you are running uh, sorry spinning your roulette if you can spin half for one spin half for the other both are both are really good i have both of them now let's go for the uses both of them are good for field both are good for siege a uh, bella is good for siege primarily because and she's going to be lead so let's talk about bella first she's a field and siege hero and she's going to be leading in both situations and uh, who can she lead she can lead swen she can also lead elena because she has an incremental damage for 3 seconds you would want to do one solid damage when skill drop happens and then incremental damage for next Four second base, including this one, because if you have not seen my combat log breakdown video, I talk about how the skill drop of lead happens first, and then the support heroes uh, skill damage follows in the next second. So you would want to deal four second of good decent sized damage compared to damage in three seconds. That does help in a way because most of the time the you can say the shield is getting over or something you're basically if say any heroes skill drop happens at the same time as yours you would want their effect to go out first before your rage skill effect goes out if that makes sense so 4 second is a good rather than 3 anyway let's come to elena she is amazing on field she shines when the enemy target squad that she is hitting is being flanked she is going to increase the damage on that target so much that target is going to die very very fast that being said if you are running her on rally with uh, bella and if you say even one other squad is flanking her flanking skills like this increased damage factor and then this 13% extra damage on top of that she is good for that so recommendation which one to go for i like both of them go for bella first but do take both of them so with this i think i have concluded uh, the topic that was in hand in next video i'm going to talk about ranged in the same way and in the fourth video i already mentioned it's going to be which heroes to go for combined in infantry rider range depending on different play styles i'm going to try to cover some general ones but if it doesn't suit you follow what suits you i'm going to stress on this particular statement so people don't get mad at me <laughs> anyway uh thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one